Yo, so we are on the counter stack again. Since the last time we played the deck, the, the video wasn't that great since there were a lot of non games. But this one is very good since we have the mana dog, some initiative dudes, a removal spell. That's a good curve, I think. Bond goes to five. It's so maybe a non game yet again. Not for us this time, but that's that's sometimes Highlander. Sometimes I just lose to the variants. We're on the play, and we start on our beautiful Elf Lady. And as it stands now, we have next turn the decision to play Stone Curse up and on two a tapped land. And then take the initiative. For now, that sounds very good. Okay, our opponents, maybe a control deck or something. Have a DT. I think we don't know what we want to get. And yeah, we need the mana, so we play Triumph. And I have six here. Con no control deck. Wasteland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reality chip. Is he wastes? Yes. So now I think it's just a monic for another land. Uh, white land. We need to hit our land drops to get to the initiative. I think so it's white. White black maybe. Let's get white black. Swap and Does he chip now? Did he add another land? No. So great news for us. Um, so if he equips it, he can play stuff off his library. So now it's I think just this. Ape guy here. Okay, the count is on itself since it can attack through the reality ship. So it's not a very um, sneaky play. If we would have played the storm cards up in for three, maybe we would sniff something out. If he doesn't have a land and we drop the initiative, do it next turn. I think we will win. I think we will win here. Let's play this guy. Take the initiative. Get like a fox maybe or planes. Let's go to planes. Pass and get a count on our in our lifelong initiative, dude. See if our opponent had something like a removal spell. No. 
Maybe a tutor. Okay, he has a move spell. Has a Zaga and the Fairy, so we can take the initiative here. Bad news. Now we have the option to get the initiative again. Since he has only one attacker, ah, we will get our dude back. Ah, that's how we did it. So not the worst exchange for us. So now. We take the initiative back again. And keep up the swords. We will put two counters in our life linker. So we go to forge. And then we have a high five life linker and a four three. Just uh, that opponent can go for a saga turn. Oh no, we missed the Teferi uh, static. So there's no option, there's a sword right now. So maybe we have to do it next turn. Oh no, that's not good. Get another basic. So maybe we get screwed here. If he has, a, has another removal spell, we can take back the initiative yet again. But he doesn't. Great news. So we will trap him. So in, in our upkeep, we will trap him. We will lose five life. Now we can make multiple creatures. Mm, ah, the Knight of Open. It's very handy. So let's get the Knight and kill a Saga. And make one token, of course. And now I think we will uh, kill this Aga token and play another creature to keep the initiative as safe as possible. Maybe it worked out that we missed the static last turn. Opponent goes for the future side mode on the reality chip. And we win. GG. Okay. We have another mana dog start, but only one land. So that's very risky, and I think we have to take a mulligan. We have technically one drops. 
late game into removal spell. This is a keep and we will think put the endless run to the bottom. Okay, we will not fetch our land, of course, and play just the warden. Picked up another move spell, as you can see. So maybe it's a uh, plan for the next turn. To move the shaman. I also remove the web decay. So hopefully you find another non-fetch land that we can remove the mocks and don't give him mana with the shaman. That's okay. So I think we will remove still the mocks. He has like one time use with the shaman and then we can remove it too. We'll get one card of course. I think this is okay. We'll get a Scotland. Take one more pick. And get your card. And you pass. It was still a two for two since he exiled a card for the Chromox. Maybe we can ambush him next turn with the wild, wild bond preserver. Okay, there's a lot of mana. So he wants to brain, it seems. So yeah, we just pass here. Don't want to give him another card. Also pain. Yep. Quail. Sure. More mana. Seems like a a big one. Position. Hmm. Sure. He attacks with boss? No, he doesn't. So, no trap here, but we still play our flash guy. Now we can tap down of our lands, and if he does, we will. Or something. We will float back. Doesn't want to tap further. I think we will kill the Asper Sentinel. No, I think we will kill the uh, Shaman and we will give him another card. I 
Hopefully we get land. Nope. But we uh, attack and if we want to trade, we can. No, that won't. No. <laughs> Maybe we will get locked out. Yes, more creatures. Now he will time walk us again. And nothing that we can do about it. Yep. Yep. Mm. We stay back. Yes, the central was very good here. There's more creatures and we don't find lands we will concede very soon. Maybe he misses the uh, reach of oh, fox guy. An elf riding a fox. Most likely not. Yep. Yep. to attack. Yet another time walk. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. hmm. I think we will scoop here. That's enough. Enough salt for us. So we are on the play again. We have a lot of, lot of one drops, a lot of mana acceleration, and that's very good for us. Uh, hmm. We have a curve. Which ends in an initiative creature. Mm. We have no mana dog though. Ah, I think it's okay. I want to try out this new robot guy here. And since we have the Stone Crown Serpent, uh, we are very flexible in how we will sequence our turns. No land, but we have a we attack here. Assembly worker. Two to vigilance, which can grow. Oh, we have to pay white right, though. <laughs> Sadly, on Magic Online, these uh, prototypes have this very ugly uh, version, which hide the 
Sure. Opponent doesn't have a fetch land either. Okay. Can make the attack. And then you can double block. Is this okay? Not sure if he double blocks. Voice dies, he gets a token. I think we'll just pass and keep up the uh, activate abilities of our creature and the flash guy. Hmm. Bad news. Bad, bad news. Maybe you should have went well. Mana dog starts. No opponent will get big stuff. Chitter. See if he wants to go for that. Hmm. So we can block. block with a 3-3 three, three. then he doesn't have like good jitter triggers so yeah can't kill both if we make this a 3-3 three, three. Access to do. It's a two two, yeah. Okay. We need it need the land. Bingo. Okay. We can attack for two, pump it, and then have a flash thread up. And also play a 4-4. Four, four. I think we have to pressure here. So yeah, let's go for the attack. One doesn't block most likely. And now the question is, we want to pump it. We don't do it. I think we have no block, no good blocks next turn, uh, since we will play another creature and then the jitter will finish off the thing. So we we'll pump itself, and we'll take three. Also makes it worse for our opponent with the jitter. Ah, stone cause up and has protection from multicolors. So yeah, that's very good. Let's just play the pro multicolor uh, guy, which will prevent him getting jet counters. We'll get a Bayou, of course. So on this board, he has nothing to um, to attack with next turn, since both his creatures are multicolor spells. Or oh, multicolor creatures. Okay, we 
Still moves a serpent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack for three. That's okay. Okay, great. So we can attack for three with vigilance. And then if he equips on the Jitter, we don't have the push. But if he equips on the other guys, we will have it. Um, it's very risky to keep up the push. But I think first thing will be the attack for three. Opponent can decide. We will not block. And now the question is if we go for the pump here. I think we will not pump and keep up the preserver and the push. And we can also pump end of turn if we want. Like the guy has uh, vigilance and pumps assembly workers, which he is one. Okay, equips on this guy. That's cool. That's what we wanted here. We will just push. Sure. Now we can pump or play the white bomber server. Um, I think we play the preserver. Okay, we have another fence. Which will make us creatures die when exile when they die. Um, so if we attack, we will block. We can pump it to a three four. Then we have to pump, and then you can kill this guy off. So I think the attack is not good. I think the way we get ahead here is play the most beefy creatures that we have. And this is between these two, and since this is more restricted than mana cost, we will play the Unoffensa. She has also good text. Next turn we can also, since this is not a human, hunt the preserver. We we'll just pass. The mana gorge height was very awkward. Okay. Fem rage. Hmm. That's good enough. Owen. I can kill off another guy and attack and win the match but it was quite interactive though he had the jitter in a creature matchup mm. yeah i think it's good enough gg's hey so if you like my content please subscribe to the channel or give me likes or comments under the videos. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks.